Endometriosis is a condition unique to women and the word endometriosis comes from the suffix osis meaning abnormal location and endometrium which is the tissue that lines the uterus that we grow and shed every month in our cycles. So endometriosis is that tissue that should be limited to the uterine cavity growing in an abnormal location. The disease is very prevalent in women in the United States with probably about 15% of women having the disease at any particular time in their reproductive life. In an infertile population, that incidence is as high as 35 to 40%. So when we see women that we are concerned about endometriosis, usually they come in with symptoms specifically painful, cramping periods that's worsening over time. Now, a lot of women that we see don't have those symptoms, and the only symptom that they have is infertility. The symptoms can be the same, but typically with endometriosis, there's not excessively heavy bleeding that worsens over time. It's more of a pain issue, and there's not an enlarging uterus the uterus is normal size typically with these implants of disease outside of the uterus and the pelvis. There can be pain with intercourse, pain with bowel movements, pain with urination. And one of the most interesting things about the pain spectrum with endometriosis is there can be a paradoxical relationship between the level of pain and the severity of disease. What I mean by that is that sometimes the women who have the absolute worst symptoms have really minimal disease and vice versa. Women who have very aggressive, very advanced disease may essentially be symptom free. So you cannot use the symptom of painful periods to make your diagnosis or to determine how significant the disease is. The only way the diagnosis can be made is by having some type of a surgical procedure to actually identify the endometriotic implants in the pelvis.